Welcome to this video. In a previous video, I taught you how to graph horizontal and vertical lines given the equation of the line, and how to graph linear equations given the slope-intercept form. In this video, we are going to be given equations in standard form, and then rewrite them in slope-intercept form before we then graph them. This is an excerpt from the textbook, and in this video, we're just going to be focusing on the left side, which is called the slope-intercept method where we take an equation that looks like this, ax plus by equals c, and we convert it to something that looks like this, and then we graph it. So let's begin. Our first example is 3x plus 2y equals 6. Now, just looking at that equation, can you tell me what the slope on the y-intercept is? Probably not. The reason you can't is because it doesn't look like y equals mx plus b. So this is our goal. We're trying to get this equation, 3x plus 2y equals 6, to look like y equals mx plus b. So we need to isolate our y variable. To begin doing that, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. Then we have 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. You might wonder why I chose to write the negative 3x first. Well, the reason is that that's what the slope-intercept form looks like. That's my goal, so putting the negative 3x first gets me closer to my goal faster. You might also wonder why we did not combine the 6 and the negative 3x. And the answer to that question is that they are not like terms. We cannot combine them. So at this point, we need to divide both sides by 2. So we get y is equal to negative 3x over 2 plus 6 over 2. We rewrite that as y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3, and then we can graph this. So notice that our slope is negative 3 halves, and our y-intercept is 3. So we started our y-intercept. We go down 3 and to the right 2. And then we continue this pattern until we, oops, until we run out of space. We can also go up 3 which is positive, and to the left 2, which is negative, to get more points on the other side of our y-intercept. We then always connect our points in a straight line, and we label our equation, or we label our line with the equation, y equals negative 3x plus 3. You might notice that there's a whole other blank on the right-hand side of the page, and we're going to cover that in our next video. So let's do another example. Here we have the equation x minus 2y equals 4. Again, just looking at this equation, I can't tell you what the slope or the y-intercept is. So I need to rearrange this equation so that y is all by itself. Now one important thing to notice here is that negative 2y belongs, sorry, the negative sign belongs to the 2y. It does not belong to the x. What sign is in front of the x? Well, there's nothing there, so we can assume that it's positive. How do we get rid of a positive x? Well, we do that by subtracting x from both sides. So we have negative 2y is equal to negative x plus 4. Why did I write the negative x first? Well, I did that so that it starts to look like our goal. Why didn't I combine the 4 and the negative x? Well, I didn't do that because they are not like terms and they cannot be combined. So we have negative x over negative 2 plus 4 over negative 2. So notice that we have two negative signs here. They become positive. And also remember, you can always put a 1 in front of a variable, even if it doesn't, um, if, if it's not there initially. So we have y is equal to, oops, sorry, positive 1 half x minus 2. So this means our slope is 1 over 2, and our b, or our y-intercept, is negative 2, or the point 0, negative 2. So we start here at our y-intercept, and then we go up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. And we continue that pattern. We could also go down 1 and to the left 2. And we continue that pattern in the other direction. So we have a straight line, and we always write 
draw arrows on either side. And then again, it's a good habit to get into labeling the equation of that line. Let's do one more example. So in this case, we have 5x plus 10y equals 10. Again, remember our goal is to have something that looks like y equals mx plus b. So to start with, I'm going to isolate the term that contains y. I'm going to do this by subtracting 5x from both sides. So we have 10y equals negative 5x plus 10. Again, if you're wondering why I wrote the 5x first, it's because that's what our goal equation looks like. So, so we divide both sides by 10. And we get y equals negative 5x over 10 plus 10 over 10, we end up with negative 1 half x plus 1. So our y-intercept is 1. From there, we need to go down 1 and to the right 2, like so. Or, remember, we could also go up 1, which is positive, and to the left 2, which is negative. We continue that pattern as well. So we connect these lines, we make sure we draw arrows indicating that it extends infinitely in both directions, and then we label our line y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 1. Stay tuned for more videos.